A horrific accident in Summit County leaves two people dead. Tonight, families devastated, children left without their parents. Just think, them kids not going to be able to spend no time with their parents and their birthdays coming up. Investigators say the driver who hit the couple had been drinking. News 5's Home of Ash at the accident scene in Akron. To give you an idea of how violent this crash was, this fire hydrant was knocked off its foundation, tossed 30 yards down the road. Like, how do people just not care about somebody else's life? The destruction is unbelievable. Tire tracks through yards, pieces of the car still scattered across the road. It was a very violent crash. Investigators say around 2.30 Sunday morning, 26-year-old Aisha Williams blew through the stop sign on Lindsay Avenue in Akron and slammed into a car, sending both spinning. Nick Bobo and Ariel Davis were inside the car that was hit, both killed from the impact of the crash. A family now torn apart. He cared for everybody like he was a good dad. He was so happy to have his kids. Troopers say Williams had been drinking and driving fast. Very fast. I can't give you an actual number. That's part of the investigation that the reconstructionists that we have that come out and they map the scene. They take pictures, they take measurements, and that'll all, that'll all come about uh, later when the report's complete. Neighbors say the intersection at Lindsay and Virginia has always been a dangerous one. Oh, yeah, they fly up and down this road. Real bad. Real bad. Look, they don't have no respect for the stop sign, and they, they just fly through here. They got to put stop signs on four corners or something, you know, so people stop on all four corners, I guess. And as family and friends try to wrap their heads around this tragedy, a growing memorial to the couple now sits near the intersection where they lost their lives. He was a good dad. All he thought about was his kids every day. He like, man, I got to get this for my kids. Man, y'all got to get home to my kids. I got to get this job for my kids. It was just always his kids. Troopers are still investigating, but they tell us that seatbelts were not in use at the time of the crash. Reporting in Akron, home by Bash News 5.